Happiness, I'm back. I'm back to you on YouTube and I'm back from our home in Guadalajara, Old Mexico, uh, back here in California. Just uh, love being down in Mexico. The people are so kind and the culture is so rich down there. I, I love being there, but uh, happy that when I went into the garage and saw some of the bookshelves filled with boxes of boots, I only have a limited collection down there. I know you haven't seen it. Maybe I'll have to do a video on my collection in, in Mexico when I'm down there. I think I have 15 or 16 pairs of boots down there. Um, but when I saw my part of my collection in the garage when I was coming in with the luggage last night, I got a good warm fuzzy feeling about that. Today we're going to do Canadian boots. Canada, of course, uh, from America here, it is our, our other neighbor, Mexico being our neighbor to the south, Canada being our neighbor to the north. And, um, you know, I, growing up, I, I don't know, seems like respect is a thing of the past that with a lot of these young people nowadays. But, uh, you know, I never knew anyone who didn't have a lot of respect for Canada and its people and uh, its beautiful landscape. And our neighbors to the north have always been a great neighbor and uh, someone that the United States looks up to. I, I don't know what happened a few years ago, something with a hockey game. They went nuts up there and did a bunch of stuff after a hockey game. But <laughs> that's the only thing I ever heard bad happened in Canada. I don't know. I know bad things are everywhere, but they have good boots. So I have this pair of boots right here and uh, they are called Red Dogs. They are a 12 inch kind of like a lace to toe linesman type boot. It's a, it's a structured toe. I, it, it, it doesn't feel like there's anything in there, but it is structured, uh, but it's not composite or steel toe. These red dog boots are made by a company called Canada West. They remind me a lot of my, Vi uh, of my, um, sorry, Vibergs. We're going to talk about Vibergs of my West Coast. Uh, builder, uh, um, builder pros. Those are next now. No, uh, my Wesco job masters and they, these are a 10 and a half D. Okay. Um, we're going to talk about sizing on Canadian boots. These fit me great and they are just pretty much seem about the same quality as my Wesco's. And I don't know if you know, I, I love Wesco's. It's one of my favorite boots. Um, I've worried Wesco's right now some uh, custom, custom horse hide boots that I, uh, they're called the uh, Warrens. Our friend, uh, Chris Warren is running some things up at Wesco and they make amazing boots, but these are made by a company called Canada West. Now, uh, Canada West is based out of Winnipeg, started in 1978, is, is a family owned business. Um, they also have a, a heritage line called WM Morby. Uh, have some more heritage looking service boots or cap toe looking boots. They have a really cool looking monkey boot. This, like I said, is 10 and a half D. A lot of those boots you'll see are E width, are, are wide or very wide width. Check that if you're going to buy them. Canada West does not sell. I, I think um, they're in Winnipeg, Manitoba. They have um, a factory outlet store. If you look up their address or you live near. Um, if not, they don't sell. Uh, to the generally like online or anything, there's a company called Bailey's that has a lot of work, different kind of work stuff that sells some. Um, but just check on the sizing. These are 10 and a half D. Some of these other Canadian boots, like the Viberg I mentioned, and we have some other Canadian boots here. Um, Canadian size, Canadian. <laughs> yeah. Canada sizing can be a half size to a, a, a size smaller. So it runs larger, so you would size down a size to a, a, a half size. A lot of the PNW boots are that way. I don't have, with Wesco's, I think we talked about this, I use my regular Brannock, um, uh, but these are also 10 and a half, which is, I'm a, I think I'm, see, I'm like a, I think Brannock actually, I'm like a 10, a one foot, 10 and a quarter on the other. I buy 10 and a halves. Um, these red dogs, you can kind of see that, the label there, Red Dog, are some really cool boots, and I love wearing these. These are 12 inch boots from Canada West, um, and I recommend them. Uh, 
They are they are really good. I I, I love them. Um, now, I have these other boots over here, and I got them on Etsy from a gentleman, and I think he was talking about. We were messaging back and forth because the sizing on these boots. These are Gorilla brand. He asked me if I wanted one of the original boxes. Now this, if you see this box, it, it looks vintage to like the 60s or something. And everything's in French and English on there. So I think it's got to come from Quebec. Um, the shoe, Gorilla, is only in English. I don't know what the translation of that is. But Brutally Strong is translated. The shoe is translated. And it says Made in Canada. And... Um, I also have another box here that came with the other pair, the Tiger Shoe. Now that one's not translated, but I like these boxes because they're really cool looking vintage things. Um, I did a little bit of research on that, on this. Um, there's a company called Brown's Boots, or Brown Shoes. Brown Shoe Company is one of the largest independent shoe companies in North America, uh, from what I understand. And I think don't know if they're actually making uh, shoes and boots or they now they sell every different kind of shoe from what I can see on their site they were started in 1940 and it is still also a family-owned business now um, I have they both both these sets came with these big cotton yellow laces and I this other one I changed them out to some brown ones I think I got for bought a bunch of brown ones for some of the military boots we are gonna have a video on military boots I have a small collection of military boots. We're going to do that. We're going to do Red Wing Mock Toes, two or three videos, and then we'll have to start going back over and doing some different brands and things of new boots that I've got. Some of the boots that I've shown you in the past, I don't even have anymore. And then I, I keep rotating and I try to do one in, one out, but it's really difficult. Look at these. These are really nice. They were brand new, bought them from a gentleman on Etsy, and I think he said that he owned a building or had purchased a building in Canada and there was a bunch of old shoe stock in the bottom. I paid a little bit more to get those boxes shipped with them, but they were super affordable on Etsy. And there's a little rough out on the heel. Leather soles. Let's see on this other one. You can see it's got a little leather sole with a little made in Canada maple leaf sticker shining at you right there. Um, all that wear I put on them, they came new. Um, Vulcan is the name of the rubber on the heel, but the finish is not great and perfect. They got some big like aluminum eyelets on them, but um, they fit me really well. And I think these are a nine and a half. What I bought, if you end up encountering this gentleman or some of these boots. See, yeah, these are, shoot, I can't see it. Nope, doesn't say. The box says, the box doesn't say, um, he must have known, it doesn't say in here, but he sized me down. As a matter of fact, I think I bought 10s or 10 and a half, and I sent them back and he sent me another pair. Whoever you buy them from, talk to him about the fit. Um, but I, I, I love them. They're really, they're super cool. And then I, so I got this other pair and this pair is steel toe. And it's more of a maroon leather. Still has that rough out heel. And these are really cool. It's, it's funny. The leather has a stamp on it that says Super Soul, which Super Soul we know is like the, a patented name of a, a Red Wing. But then the heel cap says Built Right, which is one of the brands that we know. But I know Built Right used to use like, can you see that? It's like a little Cadillac symbol on it. Leather sole with a ribbon in it. Stitched all the way through. It's a welt, um, like a storm welt, on on both of these. They're pretty much the same construction, except one is steel toe. But um, I think I got those for right around 100 to 120 bucks, 130 bucks, something like that each, from this guy on Etsy. I don't know if he still has any stock, but they're sharp looking boots. Now the last one, I finally scored. You know what's all the hubbub about Viberg? Did I say any, everything I wanted to say about Gorilla? Yes, I did, from Quebec in 1940. Okay, Vibergs. Vibergs, founded in 1931. Um, 
couldn't find too much information on it. A lot of guys, I'm in a Viber group. A lot of guys are always saying that they're disappointed Viber has stalled on their work line. I think a lot of guys are dependent on them in Canada, like we do Red Wing here in the United States, for a lot of their work boots. And uh, I know that they make a lot of heritage boots, really a lot of service boot styles. I think they make some pull-ons and some shoes. Um, I'm not really into that. Um, the boot that I like that Viberg makes is the 310. It's got kind of a squarish looking toe. See that? It's kind of squarish looking, but it's totally sprung. I don't know if you can see that. Look at that sprung toe. This it's right here. It's turned up like a little turned up nose, you know, <laughs> but I dig these. These are natural Dublin is the leather and these are a nine and a half E. Okay. So yeah, the red dogs, if you go on the site and look at like their monkey boots, they got some cool looking roofer boots and even a lot of their service boots their heritage boots, the WM Morby, they're all wide. And, and, um, the, uh, uh, Vibergs come in E too. I mean, I think that's all they come in. So I got a nine and a half E instead of my regular ten and a half D. I sized down a full size, and it's it's supposedly wider. Um, has a real Danite sole on there, um, but it, these fit me perfectly. They have some false tongues in there. Brought to you by Error Surfer LV Dale's Leatherworks. Such a wonderful, amazing, beautiful guy. Thank you always, Dale, for providing the service of false tongues for us. Um, these are the 310s. I think they got the 2230 or the 2030. Honestly, guys, I know some of you guys are Viberg guys. I don't like any of the other Viberg boots. I just like these 310s, and I was looking for them a long time, and I got them. And these are eight or $900, I don't know, seven, $800, something like that. I, I didn't pay that. I got them for about half price or... A little bit over half price on eBay. I kept looking and I dig these. The Viberg 310 service boot with the sprung toe and a funky nose. I really like it. Thanks for being patient with me. I know a lot of guys um, look forward to my content. I get a lot of messages. I think there's 500 of you that are subscribed now and there's over 90,000 views on this channel. So I thank you a lot. And um, this is fun for me. It's my hobby. You know, I love everyone. I don't like everyone, but I love everyone. And I like you, my brothers who have this same hobby and who are kind gentlemen. I love you and I like you. Um, but, uh, um, it's 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 a way for me, and I think you know this. This is a way for me to, to to spread messages of love and hope, and boots. Hey, as a matter of fact, we've been gifted these uh, <laughs> suspenders. Look at these; these are really cool. Okay, um, check out the back if you can. These suspenders were gifted to me by um, some folks on Instagram, and. They're called Suitois. Suitois, I think it's a Mandarin word. I think they use it in Indonesia and Taiwan, parts of China. They're Suitois. It's S-U-I-T-U-A. These are only like 22 bucks, okay? Um, and uh, they wanted me to wear them, try them out, take some pictures in them, and so I'm doing that. It's kind of my first little weird sponsorship thing, and it's kind of fun for me. Um, you can get these on Amazon. Sweet, sweet toi, S U I T U A. Men's suspenders. I think they come in like five colors. Um, they aren't like kind of these skinny little, you know, more stylistic ones that a, a lot of guys are wearing now that are very vintage and retro style. These are more like a two inch work style. And they got these. These clasps down here, they're not just like metal teeth. They got some plastic teeth inside. And the way that the adjustments lock on, I showed one of the guys, one of the workers, and he said, oh man, that hardware is legit. So they can be stylized. I'm wearing them with an Ann Sons shirt right now and some Dickies um, selvage jeans. 
and uh, you know they can be stylized, but um, they are. I, you know, I, I think I might be using them for work. So hey, that's a little advertisement there for you, unpaid. Um, yeah. Okay. What I wanted to talk to you guys about, and like I said, I, this is a way for me to spread my message of love. Um, I wanted to talk to you about hope. You know, for me, my opinion, a lot of people, you know, love is the most powerful force in the universe. The ocean's very powerful. Space is vast and immense and expanding. Um, the sun, stars, creation, and the death of a star is such a powerful thing. For me, love is the most powerful thing, but there's something that I want to talk about that's just less than love. And for me, at least for us humans, the second most powerful thing is hope. Hope is a powerful thing. Hope is something that people don't have when they have lack of problems. Most of us have problems. You know, I, I, some people say, oh, rich people don't have a need for hope because they have it. You know, rich people have hard lives too. Um, you know, they get depressed, man. I mean, you, you, if you don't work, you don't have to work for your money. I mean, I don't know where your brain could go and get you into bad places. So everybody needs hope. And it is something that can cure you of depression, can uh, cure you of the doldrums, you know, the place of just boredom and, you know, lack of direction. Because when you have hope, you have something you're looking forward to. So I want to talk to you about, if, if you feel hopeless, you know, let's make a plan. Make a plan for your life. And don't make this big, unattainable plan. Because you know what? You're going to fail. You're going to take one step forward and two steps back. You make this unattainable goal for yourself, this hope and dream for yourself, and you don't reach it. And you end up going back to the bottle or drugs or despair, depression, whatever. So, you know let's hope that we get better every day. We can have a larger goal at the end of these smaller hoops of, of hope and, and, and goals, you know, hoops we want to jump through towards goals. And let's hope, you know, I, I might hope tomorrow that as a self-employed carpenter, you know, with a boot addiction, um, you know, I need money and I need to continue my life and I help a lot of people and a lot of people depend on me. So I have to get work. And a lot of people, they have these big jobs and they get laid off and they're talking about their 401ks. I don't know what 401k means. I know it's a financial savings retirement thing or something, but um, they, they get all wigged out and freaked out when they think they're going to get laid off or have to go look for another job. Well, how would you like to be looking for a job every two to eight weeks looking for a new job, being unemployed? That's how it is to be an independent contractor, carpenter. And so you always have to hope for work. You hope that you can pay the bills. I hope my wife still loves me. She's amazing. And I'm not even close <laughs> to, to what an amazing person she is. But, um, you know, I hope you love me. And that hope that you will continue to care for me and to love me really is something that inspires me to do better and not to perform for you, not to earn your love, but to be the person that you can love, the person that you can respect. I hope I'm a person that you can respect and admire and emulate. That's my hope for me. You know, there's a lot of negative people. We've talked about this and they want to take your hope away. They want to take your dreams away. I've surrounded myself by people like this before. Don't let people steal your hope. Don't let people steal your dreams. If your dreams get dashed and destroyed by somebody, you know what? The better part of a dream is making a new dream. I hope that when you find that maybe your goals and dreams are too high, when you find that you've allowed other people to destroy your hopes and your dreams, that you can make a new dream. I hope that you can find something to drive you on and to spur you on and to make you feel like you have an abundance of love inside you, which is flowing out towards other people because it's so difficult for some people to give love. And it's not for me. And so that's why I'm trying to help you, to teach you, to inspire you, to have hope and to have love and maybe have some boots or some Canadian boots. God bless all you Canadians. Have a happy day.